Warning. What you're about to hear may offend. Beware. If you're a commie, greenie, tall bludger, feminist, labor voter, uni student, radio announcer, single mother, politician, left-wing socialist, or all of the above, brace yourself. You have been warned. Spires broadcaster in the whole of Australia. Does the word dickhead mean anything to you? Because you're a dickhead and you're a wasted space. Why? Because you're a nimbusock. You're a leper in society. A leper in society? You're a leper in society. You're a feeble brain fool. I'll come down there and do your job. You, you like a lot of radio announcers in this city, really wouldn't be able to do my job do because you don't stuff. have any talent. You stand your gutless clown. You trailer park trash. Yes, this is indeed Stan's Monic, and I am here right through to 12 o'clock tonight. Yes, I'm here to save the country and also the radio station as well. Who's the biggest wanker on national radio? I'd say you were. You're just quick for the ratings to hit that idiot button, aren't you? Idiot, 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 idiot. You're hilarious, aren't you? <laughs> Not as funny as you. No, you are a wood duck and a dickhead as well. You're a champion. I am indeed, aren't I? When you hang up, the IQ of my audience will rise great. Why don't you get a life, mate? You're a knob eater. Have you ever looked up in the dictionary under dickhead? And you'll see a photo of yourself. Stan! Can't stand you, Zamani. I'm yeah. a warrior. You're not a warrior. You're a wanker. I love you, Stan. I love you, Stumpy Guru. And who do you think you are? You're sitting there. My name's Stan Zamani. Crazy. You filthy f- it. I hope you die in hell. Stick back. Aaron, <laughs> shut up. Get yeah. away. Piss off. Maura, you're a half wit. No, you're a half wit. You're a half wit. Crazy for calling. They'll just end up brawling with some money Cause he's crazy too You should be on the damn show! (laughs) (laughs) Hit me with your best shot Hey, you're a wanker, Stan Why don't you hit me with your best shot? You're a total asshole Yeah, you're a buffet, Stan Hit me with your best shot You'll never be number one Take your best shot. Take my best shot. Take your best shot. You shut the f*** up. You're nothing more than a bad excuse for an ejaculation. You're you're just not uh, fit to be in public broadcast. Well, Godzilla's got nothing on you. You're a f***ing ugly You bleat and carry on like a dickhead. You are definitely up yourself. You ring me up. You're an asshole. You ring me up. You're the biggest asshole until you eat. You're a second-rate disc jockey, you know that. If you weren't so right-wing, you might have half a brain. Piss off, you wanker. Hey, (laughs) put on your dick, little fat (laughs) roly-poly. Ah, <laughs> oh, why did you hang up? Everybody in radio does want to be like me, but unfortunately they don't have the talent. Well, even the ones that hate me still listen. <laughs> That's the formula that some of these other announcers haven't worked out yet. You know, the most hated radio man in Australia? I could probably agree with that, yes. There's probably a lot of the radio announcers out there who are incredibly jealous. Most of them don't have the talent. Time for our moron of the night. You are an idiot. Oh, am I? You are an idiot. First rate idiot. I think you're an uncompassionate dickhead, you know that? You're not a nice person. I am a lovely person. I'm an award-winning person. Who said that? All the people who gave me awards for being such a nice person. Listen, you old goat. Tell me. I said you old goat. Tell me why you're going to vote. Tell me why you're going to vote. Tell me. When you apologise. Yes, I'm sorry, you old goat. Listen, mate, I think you're a legend. I think your show's a legend. I think all the bullfeds should just piss off. I'm going to cut you off every time you're a moron. Well, there's no... Time's running out, sorry. Yeah, I'm having a cut right now. Is it Peter's? Peter's. Peter's ice cream cone? You're the one, you bull. Bed, you dickhead, you low-life scumbag. When you get into bed with your hubby tonight, turn the radio up really loud and then just bonk your brains out. I will, and I'll think of you. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't scream my name out. You're like a lot of turkeys in this world who just don't take the umpire's decision. No, no prize for second, son. We've run out of time, Robert. We've run out of time. Come on, get it, Stan, you first.